Hey everyone, it's AJ of Front Door Realty, and we have a new topic today. The topic of slaying that credit score. New tips for a new year. Tip number one is based on the question, what is the highest credit score you can actually acquire? The answer to that is 850. It might sound like it's impossible. It might also be considered the holy grail of credit scores, but I'm here today to give you a couple pointers and help you get to that point. Um, and if you can't get to the 850, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. You could still probably get a home mortgage without an 850. I know I did. Uh, one of the tips that, that people who reach 850 um, give to those who haven't yet is to use the umbrella approach. And what that means is paying extremely close attention to every payment, every bill and every credit card that you have and making sure that um, you are doing everything in your power to pay those on time, uh, not even a minute late. And just another little fun tidbit, one in about every 200 people will hit the 850 at least once in their lifetime. So that's kind of cool. So let's shoot for that one. Huh? Tip number two. So 850 sounds a little wild and crazy. Let's shoot for 750 instead. Uh, many lenders will be fighting over your business with this credit score and it, you're still considered to have excellent credit at 750. So if you can't hit 850 in the reasonable amount of time or the time that you need in order to acquire a home loan, let's go for 750 instead. We also have lenders um, that partner with our office who, who will help people for free uh, rebuild their credit from previous hiccups and um, extenuating circumstances. So we do have lenders that are extremely valuable resources for you. Let us know how we can help. Tip number three is to set up automatic payments. I actually really don't like automatic payments because what if I don't have enough money in my account? So I actually set up um, overdraft protection to make sure that I do and that's like a three dollar transfer fee so it's super inexpensive way to prevent making a late payment or having a payment not be made because I don't have enough funds in my account. Uh, little known fact that 35% of your credit score is based off of your payment history and even a couple days late can seriously affect your credit score so make sure to set up those um, automatic payments and get whatever systems in place that you need in order to make sure that the money is in your account on the correct day. Tip number four is watch your credit limit. You know, experts say to get your all of your credit card debt on every individual card below the 30% mark. And what that does is it, it shows your debt, debt to income ratio is fair um, and also that you are credit worthy which is a big thing when applying for a home loan. The bank doesn't really want to loan money to people who have delinquent payments. Um, they want to make sure that you're going to make payments to them on time so that they don't need to seize your assets. That sounds terrifying. But if you're responsible enough to get it below 30% with consistent payments on time, they're willing to loan you hundreds of thousands of dollars, which is fantastic, because I don't know how else you would buy a home. Um, if you can get it below 20% or 10% on each of those lines of credit, you're gonna have lenders arguing over rates to give you the best rates and all the fun things that make buying a home more enjoyable. When they offer you more money and expect less back in return, that's a win-win situation for you. As mentioned before, we do have lender partners who are happy to have conversations with you about your credit or help you come up with a plan to get to where your credit needs to be when purchasing a home. We are always happy to share all of our resources with you and you can reach out to our office anytime. Our direct line is 360-989-3390. And again, this is AJ at Front Door Realty. We loved having you watch our video today and we will see you again soon. Happy house hunting.